evening, everybody, and welcome to another new episode of Fred Before Bed. My name is Brendan Orr, your host for the evening, and along me we have some new face, well, a kind of new face in our normal faces. You guys want to introduce yourselves? I'm Lauren Turner. Scott Bennett, B'nai for culture. <laughs> Alex Braggins, there's no culture. Okay, well, there you go. Braggins, if you're culture. So, we have a great show on tap for today. Plenty of things to talk about relating to the campus, things relating to the entertainment world. So we'd just like to say thank you for all of our viewers for, for tuning in. For those of you who don't know or haven't watched the show before, Fred Before Bad, we're a late night talk show and we just like to have a lot of fun. And like long walks on the beach at dusk. Anyway, so we do live tweeting on the show. As we're going along talking, if you guys have any input, questions or whatever, just tweet at us. Uh, can we get our handle? There it is right there, uh, at Fred Before Bed. Let us know your thoughts. We would love to hear what you guys have to say. We'll read your comments on the air, your questions on air, and answer them for you. So I think a good way to start things off is the big news that came out a couple days ago. Bill Nye the Science Guy is coming to Fredonia. Everybody is, I, I'm, I'm really excited. I don't know if it's just me. But in the, uh, the official press release, it said, to help celebrate the opening of its new 92,000 square foot science center, SUNY Fredonia will welcome the world-renowned scientist, engineer, comedian, author, and inventor Bill Nye the Science Guy to campus this fall. He will appear Thursday, September 18th in King Concert Hall as the keynote speaker for the campus's annual convocation series. First of all, will you guys go? Um, yes, sorry. Is the Pope Catholic? <laughs> okay. Yeah. To put it that yeah. way. I, I, mean, I think it's <laughs> obvious. That what do we think? How do you guys feel about that, having Bill Nye the Science Guy just come? Um, like how? Bill. Um, yeah. Bill. 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 So <laughs> science yeah. rules. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll be, I'll be there. Did I'll you watch excited. Bill Nye the Science Guy growing Absolutely. up? Absolutely. Once yeah. again. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I did. I did <laughs> some of the experiments. <laughs> Scott, you seem very, why don't you talk a little bit about how you're feeling right now? I oh, feel no, like I, I like it. I have, chipper I'm, might be the right, I yes. don't really know. Why don't you tell us your feelings? I'm, I'm pretty optimistic that it's going to be a good speech, I would say. Oh. Pretty optimistic. Really? Yeah. Huh. Lauren, what do you think? How are you feeling about all of this? I'm pretty excited. I know in high school when we got that TV in the room and Bill Nye was on, it was always a good day. Yeah, <laughs> right sure. on. Right on. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to go check it out. I hope, is it, I hope it doesn't cost anything, though. Even if so you come on. I yeah, you're worth it. Absolutely worth it. Worth I would pay it. some money to see Bill Nye. Just get some debit. That dude is the man. Dude is the man. Yeah. All right. Well, speaking of things related to Fredonia, a little bit closer in the schedule for the year. Fredfest schedule was released today, sent out in an email with proper pronunciations and spelling and everything. It's not Fredfest, it is Fredfest. <laughs> so, for those of you who haven't checked your email at all today, we have a schedule here. We'll go through it and we're going to, I think we could just talk about each thing if we're going to go and if we won't. We're going to be brutally honest if we are yep. or not. So, Friday, 7 to 11, the Improvathon. Now, Improvathon is the annual event hosted by the Improv Society and Random Acts. The weekend consists of a night of performances by both Fredonia groups as well as other groups from neighboring colleges such as RIT, Geneseo, UB, etc., and professional improv troops from New York City. Will you go? Yeah. I'm, really? I do improv, so... Are you in Random Acts? I'm not. I didn't... Um, I probably shouldn't say You it, would be good at Random Acts. It depends. I... No, I wasn't too into it. I went to one of their shows. I mean... Shots fired at random acts. Yeah, sorry guys. Uh, depends on the wind speed that day, to be honest. If Why is that? If it's below 15, I'll go. So if don't ask questions. The winds are more than 50 miles per hour. You will go. 15. Uh, no, no, no. Opposite. If it's below 15, I'll go. And if they're above 15, I won't. So if it's like a normal day out, you're gonna yeah, go. Yeah, is is yeah yeah. If There's the, a 30% chance. <laughs> <laughs> and if the humidity is at 95%. Uh, Okay, well, so he's not going. Okay, anyway, yeah, are you going to go? What do you think? Uh, probably not. We'll see how the day goes. Yeah. It's not really my cup of tea, though. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm on the fence. I don't I don't think I know anyone in Random Acts. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it would probably be funny seeing, you know, yeah. some professional improv troops, as they put it. Watch me, I mean. All right, don't I mean, get uh, I got weird. paid once. Isn't that professional? For what? Doing what? improv. Where? Where? At my school. So money is money. How much have you made? Wait, you were getting. Improv? I, I get paid for being in a band. Yeah, well. In high school? Yeah, I think um, that's illegal. I was technically out of high school, going back to a high school event. 
So you're like a sex offender then. <laughs> no, um, 17 is the legal age now. Oh, whoa. Okay. Oh, that makes it okay, bad. though. Okay. okay. It's okay. Okay, so. My bad. Well, in any event, uh, what about you? You're gonna, you said probably not. Probably not. You're not a sex offender. I, I, I'm sorry. No, don't, no. Right, let's You're move great. on. You're great. She's, anyway. She's not a sex offender. All right. Late night breakfast. 10, to, 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Pretty no. self-explanatory. Uh, with no. bingo, no. games, and prizes. Bad. Nope. No. I'll be half in the bag. So. <laughs> what does that mean? Washed. Bye. See you. Like dead? No, like. <laughs> <laughs> hydrated really from hydrated. drinking a lot of water? Really hydrated. A lot of water. A lot of lures kind. A lot of A lot of water. Scott? Uh, no. Go ahead. I didn't even really fast. That. Well, I just wanted to see. <laughs> bingo is fun. I've never won at bingo. Really? Yeah. No, but I win at drinking. Okay. Water. 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 Gotta water. love it. Gotta love it. Kind yeah, of I don't think I'm going to oh, make yeah. an appearance either. Uh, all right, so then we'll move on to Saturday. Fred Fest co-ed dodgeball tournament. Now we're talking. Oh, what if we got a team? Um, I would go, but uh, I might be stumped. I'm going to go. I'll be stumbling. I'll be crawling but wouldn't that But be, wouldn't that make for a better time? Absolutely. It sounds dangerous. It does sound but dangerous. Like, yes. In like a, yes. like, yeah. like a dangerous a movie danger. kind of way. Like, like trying ooh, there's some Like dangerous. do flips yeah. and then like break your arm and be disappointed. Yes. Yeah, that kind of way. Why not? Yeah, no, we'd sorry, we'd probably sorry. think we were like ninjas if we did get a dodgeball team, which isn't a problem. I'd ref. Justin will ref. So we can get the, we can uh, have him throw the game for us. Perfect. Yeah. Will you be on our dodgeball team? Absolutely. Will you be on the dodgeball team? Yes. Will you be on the dodgeball team? Yes. Anyone at home, will you um, be on the dodgeball team? I was tryouts. Uh, Wait, was tryouts will consist of next week. I just made that up, but yes, next week. Uh, we're going to have tryouts apparently. Next week, uh, so actually, no, uh, I think I got two of our guests over there uh, want to be on. Okay, I can't, well, I can't, I can't okay, we have right a couple now. of guests who are going to be on our guests oh. tonight. Yeah, tonight we have the club hockey team, and we have music from Dollar Diplomacy. We're going to be playing a little bit of the dating game. Alex is our lovely contestant for the evening. Justin is going to be our host, and she is oh. going to have three guys from the club hockey team trying to win her heart. Uh, yeah. uh, we have a tweet from illsil 16 oh. saying, Farva killing it in that tonight for hashtag locomotive. Also, hashtag Lauren for president. That's, um, I didn't that's get one of the best tweets. Nothing for Alex Silves? Uh, yeah, come on, Silves. I thought we were close. Silves, How I, about I we start it. a hashtag? Hashtag Alex is really nice. All right, I'll take it. Hashtag Alex is fun. Hashtag Alex is fun. Thank you, Justin. I like that. Silves, I want to thank you for the shout out. Wouldn't be for your D, though. Oh, um, so much love. A lot of, a lot of Wait, love in this room. so much for his what? <laughs> I heard this. Whoa. <laughs> Fence. Whoa! Hey, uh, hey, Wait, uh, just repeat what yeah, you said. You're the leaves in the gutter at the moment. Get them out. Get, the, get out of there. <laughs> I'm not the one talking about another man's D on the air. You want to roof the flock. Next. Present. We're yeah, anyway. Next. Yeah, anyway. Jeez. Spectrum presents Fred Fest from 2 to 6 in Dodds Hall Grove. The annual event includes bands, food, dinosaur barbecue. Yeah, you'll find me there. Uh, games and prizes. This is a ticketed event, and tickets are available at the ticket office. Yes or no, and yep. why? Dinosaur barbecue. Fair enough. Um, no, I'll have too many friends up. Hmm. No, how are we gonna, too many friends. How up. are we gonna play the dodgeball tournament? That is true. That's it. That's all. I can have a sub for me. Alex. I have a friend coming, and we're both from Rochester, so. So yeah. We know dinosaur. So you're not gonna go. Garbage plates. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Garbage. Chicken. Our boys, right? Nice to do that. Nice to do that. Oh, what garbage place. Those are that brings a, what would you? What would you we guys? Yeah. Let's actually make this a whole discussion thing. Why don't you guys tweet Hashtag, us your thoughts? Wait, let me do this. What would you? I'm dyslexic. What would you? Yeah. Okay. W <laughs> tweeted us <laughs> at Fred before bed. What would Jesus do? What would make you guys want to go to Fred Fest? And are you even going to go to Fred Fest? If you're going to Fred Fest, let us know. And then if not, what would make you want to go to Fred Fest? And yeah. yes, Smash Mouth is an acceptable answer. Yeah. Let us know. And Alex Braggins will be there. So, go. Ooh. Oh man, come on guys. Darn, That's darn fun. it. Hey, let's move on. Uh, Fred Fest weapons. Moving what on, yeah. <laughs> Fred Fest, this is oh. very alarming if you didn't read the whole thing. Fred Fest weapons. 
of Jazz Combo. We'll be playing jazz standards outside of Tim Hortons on the patio between 6 and 8. 45 minute set and has students who want to sit and play, join them for the next hour. So bring your instrument and join the fun. Do we all get random instruments that none of us know how to play and go pretend to play jazz music? Um, I would get, uh, what is it, uh, a, a, a corduroy or whatever? Or corduroy? Corduroy. corduroy. Like, like the pants? Recorder? Yes, like recorder, 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 recorder. 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 Slap it to bass. Slap it to bass, man. Slap it to bass. All right. Uh, flip it. <laughs> what about you? What would you play if we started a band? Huh. A Fred Before Bad band? Probably the polyester. I mean, Whoa. she's going to play the corduroy. Why don't you just roll piano? Why don't you just roll piano? Just we'll just take one out of the practice. Why not? We'll take it out of the uh, uh, Timorans. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. Ryan McParlin tweeted, well, I'm guessing he's not going to go to Fred Fest, but he said what would get him to go would be a stripper from Club 35, Tractor pull and next. unlimited McDonald's chicken wings. Is it this bad? guy sounds like wild. I got really close with one of the strippers there one night, so I can make that story happen. time. Uh, probably a. Anyway. Yeah, let's keep it. Uh, and finally, the night will close with Campus Life showing an outdoor movie awkward moment with Zac Efron. You the um, man. From ten yeah. to twelve in the Williams Center patio. Yeah. No. No. Ooh. I think I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna be at the hot spot at that point. The hot spot. If you're lucky, I'll be at the hot spot. I know if we can drag ourselves. There. Yeah. That would be something. The hot spot being Kalios. Uh, yeah, of course. Yes, <laughs> Rex Johannesburg tweeted, watching at Fred before bed. I love Alex. I wonder if she smells as good as she looks tonight. Hashtag Alex is fun. Hashtag Alex is on fire. What do you think about here? that? Yeah, we'll need a, we'll need a fire extinguisher to put you out. Boys got some competition. I mean, these hockey guys better bring it. So. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to some things outside of campus. All right. Please. Goody sequel is in the works. It is going to happen. Can we pull up? No, I'm not going to say Scott's look. Like, can we pull up an image of our favorite? Oh, there he yeah. is. Hey, you got you, can, you, you know, son of a bitch. I didn't say it was you. I up. didn't say that. It's okay. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, so, uh, Steven Spielberg conceived a new plot like a 30 years later type thing. <clears throat> All right. First off, would you guys see it? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Two. Four. It's got to be four and four. Yes. In okay. Case. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would. Maybe we can all go together. We can make it like a family affair. This oh. is a family. We're really messed up. Yeah, we're messed up. We're a dysfunctional <laughs> yeah. family. Yes. Shannon Montana tweeted, only going to Fred Fest if Brendan Orr goes. Let's get into those 80s. I'll see you there. How much is Craig Griffin? <laughs> Seriously, though. It's 20 bucks. Yeah, it's good. It's a good price. People say hi to me. Uh, so, yeah, we would all go see it. Yeah, yep, agreed. Okay. This is going to open up for discussion now, and if you guys at home have any thoughts on this, let us know. Best sequels of movies ever. Oh. Lauren, you want to start off? I'm going to say Home Alone 2. Ooh. Bold choice. I like that. All right. All right. That's actually pretty good. That's Ace really Ace good. Ace Ventura when nature calls. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <coughs> what do you got? I don't, the Hangover what? Part 2 was pretty good. Ah. But, like, you can't compare it to the first one. But if you take it alone, it was good. What do you guys think at home? What do you guys think are the best movie sequels ever or your favorite ones? For me, Dark Knight. Yeah. Okay. You haven't seen that, have you, Alex? Listen. Okay. Woo! Okay. I've seen a lot of movies. Have you seen not. The Dark Knight? <laughs> no. I have plans to see it. When? Soon. Okay. Just didn't want sure you to you know will. about them. Maybe it's been I was. It's been maybe weeks. I bought the movie, Brendan. Did you buy and it? Maybe I did, and maybe I will like want to surprise you when I'd be like, oh, Brendan. I like have this movie. Let's go watch it, and then I'd make popcorn, and you then you feel like a real butthole. Her her bun is pulsating. It is. Feel it. You can touch my bun. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. First question. Did you even buy the movie in the first place, which would in turn lead to that whole series of events happening? I rest my case. N no. Okay. Okay. Anyone? Uh, what other ones? You guys have any other ones? No. Oh my god. 
Yes. Oh, God. What is the name of it? I don't know. No. That's a great it's question. It's really, really specific. No, right? it's with Penny and the, the albatross. The land down under. Yeah, the second oh, wow. one. Wow. Okay. All right. But it's Firm not Penny the second time. Okay. You know, um, I, have, I don't know when I watch B movies. <laughs> we have some more tweets. Uh, Sarah Dix tweeted, Captain America, the Winter Soldier, hashtag epic. I have not seen it yet, but I feel like I have to. Shanna Montana again. That's all the love I get, Brendan. Oh. Oh. I love you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm giving you a shout out right now. Like, it's, it's there. I'm sorry. I will see you at Fred Fest. Anyway, okay. uh, well, Brian well. McParlin. Uh, I cannot say that on the air. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh, Adam Silverman again. D two and D three of the Mighty Ducks. Oh. That's, yeah, that's, that's so true. So, so true. Um, Brennan McCabe, don't think I can I can say that one either. Oh, I love him. <laughs> I love him too, but I can't oh. say that. Uh, Kyle Madonia says, Leprechaun 2, back to the hood. Good message behind it. <laughs> <laughs> so true. What a flick. What a flick. Rex Johannesburg says, Hangover 2 is awful. Alex is going to need to rethink her life if she wants to get with me. Yikes. Rex, I'll shape up. Ooh, I'll yikes. Shape up, Rex. Oh, Shanna, I love you, baby. Thanks for saying that. That's really insane. Wait, no, she said, I love, she you, said I love you, BBY. Things are getting serious. It's not the same as baby. It's BBY. I guess you could say things are getting too serious. Too serious. We talk over Twitter sometimes. Julian, you're at Momoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so what did you, so you do last summer, Napoleon? I told you I was hunting Wolverines with my uncle in Alaska. Anyway, Can we just sorry. have a quote off sometime? Cause you got one? A quote? Yeah. yeah. What? Or maybe sing like for us? Do you have something that you maybe want to say through song, Scott? No, I have nothing. This isn't, uh, isn't Linda Bergant's class. I'm not trying to do a social protest music stream. Oh. Heck of a class. You got really yeah. serious there with that. Yeah. Is. Okay. Heck of a class. Okay. <laughs> yeah, other one, I, Toy Story we forgot. I think Toy oh. Story. Toy Story 2, classic. End of Toy Story, when he... When he on his squeaker. Don't say that. It was the best part. It was it's so funny. It's the, an animal dying is the best part. No, What's he didn't die. He just had his little squeaker. <laughs> what was he like? <laughs> okay. Uh, Harry Potter, I feel like, are pretty popular sequels. Yeah. Uh, Star Wars. Yeah, so that's just me. Uh, all I've right. Never What's seen that? Star Wars. Star Wars. What? I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I'm going to be ostracized. What a loser. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to move on. That's like Obi-Wan. All right, so <laughs> right? the new app ruining everybody's lives out there and causing procrastination everywhere. 2048. So do you, do you guys have 2048? No, I have much better things to do with my life. Wow, okay, shots fired. Do you guys at home or watching us have 2048? Perhaps, oh, Christian, our cameraman does. I do have it, and it is, you start, and then it's just like, no, I'm gonna get this time. No, I'm gonna get this time. I'm gonna get this time. It's like, mm -hmm. it's like Angry Birds. It's like Flappy Bird. It's like Flappy Bird it's was a really dark period of my life, and I really like to not go back. So yeah, I, uh, it was dark for you. Oh, I uh, grabbed it, uh, tried it three times, and it's zero three times. It's not that's dark for failure. Hmm. My high score was 27. That's how dark hey, that's it was for good. me. I had zero. 27 is pretty good. Zero. I know people that got Did to you like play Flappy Bird. Yeah. I had as many points no, no, as was my Leonardo thing. has Oscars. <laughs> I feel like double digits in Flappy Bird is like somewhat of an accomplishment. Yeah, I thought so. I, I would say so. I once got to 20 after I was like up for like eight hours straight. Like, Actually, I got to 27 when I was hydrated. Oh, really? Yeah. A lot of water, huh? A lot of water. All right. Well, that leads me to the bigger point for you guys and all of you guys watching. What is your favorite slash best app out there? Candy right. Crush, hands down. Wow. Candy okay. Crush. Okay, Why? Well, I downloaded it a year ago, actually, exactly a year ago, and it consumed my entire life. And before I knew it, I was on level like 350. It's big stuff. You wow. should be proud. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> hell, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. That's why I don't download addictive oh. apps anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You're over here very serious. Like, yeah, yeah, Candy Crush yeah, is yeah, yeah, right. Love Candy Crush. Scott. Uh, I'm going to say the messaging app. What? The messaging app. Like through Facebook? Through Facebook? No, just like the text message app. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so texting. Because I make the most plans with my friends with it. So, <laughs> so texting. So texting. Hey, what do you say? Yes, texting, texting right is now? my favorite app on the phone. Okay. 
fair. I don't have a favorite. Okay, the Twitter app. Okay. Like, I, don't I, don't know, know. I don't have an app I play. I, I mean, I'll yeah. second that. Yeah, like I don't play like anything. Um, I have to go with my trooper, trooper, my truth or dare app because it's fun whenever people are getting hydrated. Of course. And you just want to have some good bonding time. All right, I, I got what you're saying. Uh, one of our guests tonight from the club hockey team, absolute beaut of a man, says Tinder. Tinder, of course. <laughs> Heck of an app. It's going down. It's going down. I'm you yelling Tinder. Tinder. Isn't it like you want to keep going? going? No. Down. No, I don't <laughs> sing that song. Just only that part. Okay. Uh, let's see. And Shannon Montana again. Just got into Farm Heroes. It's my new candy crush. But oh, also right. expletive 2048, and it's not a good one. So apparently she does not like that. Well yeah. then, I said yeah. Facebook, Twitter for me. Uh, did you have any other ones? Uh, Instagram, straight flexin. I haven't got there yet. I haven't got to Instagram. I love yet. it. Should Same. I get one? Yeah. Might be my it took me a while too. Might be my favorite. Really? Yeah. I didn't I, go into the. I don't summer. think I'm ready to take the plunge yet. I think I have some time still before I'm going to be ready for that one. Same with Tinder. I've been getting pressure to get a Tinder. You gotta get a Tinder. You gotta right. get a I, I would do what my friend here does from the club hockey team and just message like weird. I think that should be Listen, something he could talk about. These are my prospects. <laughs> well, we're gonna talk about a lot of things. These are my prospects for love. Sorry, sorry, your love prospects. I will leave it out of it. Like, uh, how about how about uh, Snapchat? Yeah, it's pretty solid. Yeah. Do any of you guys play Hoppy Frog? No. Oh, Snapchat. killer! Snapchat it's like killer. it's anchor on. Flappy Bird, but easier and more addicting. I would say the worst app on my phone is the MNC Bank app because I get depressed every time I look at it. Yeah, I have that too. Wow. This got really serious. It's okay. Well, yeah, my bank account's low. It's true. That's okay. All right. Too much at uh, Club 35. It's all right. Yeah. Club every 35 day. in the hot spot. Listen, you need to get the Sabres app. You're one of those Sabres. old crazy guys. The Sabres, yeah, yeah, the Sabres app could be worse. Wow. Cameron Cor Corsaro Cam. says, Flappy Bird high score 331. Adderall. I quit. I've I quit. Adderall. Did you, like, <laughs> do some coke before that, man? Like, what Jeez. the heck? That's amazing. Crazy. That is amazing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. Got some commentary. Uh, Tyler Shaw says Vine. Vine is a good one. Oh, I feel like Vine. people uh, yeah, overlook like a lot. Yeah, like two days. Yeah. Um... Let's see what else did I have. Uh, Bubble Mania. I won't play that. One of our contestants, again, introduced me to that game. It's great stuff. Nice. All right. Let's move on from apps here. More horrible news. Courtney Cox was on The Late Show with David Letterman and dismissed any chance of a Friends reunion. Do we have the, the uh, image what? of Friends? Oh, just look. Don't you want to see them back together? Uh, it's like my friends if I had some. Do you like pose with each other and have like a portrait up? No, I don't have that. Oh. You have us? <laughs> so, you gotta watch Star Wars before you're my friend. One, oh, yeah. <laughs> friends reunion, yes or no, would you like to see it happen even though it's not going to? Um, yeah. yeah. I, I never really watched Friends. Oh, my God. Okay, I get I never watched either, made fun of for Star Wars. There's a lot more than that. And okay. quickly, sure. shows that you want to see make a comeback. Seinf Any show. Seinfeld. Si great pick. Legend of the Hidden Temple. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You are my hero. All that, Keaton and Kel? Uh, Magic School The Amanda bus. Show. Slime Amanda Show. What's that? Magic School Magic bus. School Bus classic show. Hey Arnold, Drake and Josh. Rocket Power. Yes, Drake and Josh. <laughs> All right, well, in any event, we're going to go to that a That shirt show break. that's off the air now? the dating game, everybody. Keep it down. Hello there, gentlemen. Can you please share your names? Uh, my name's Tommy. And my name's Alex. 
What are you guys here for? We're here from the radio system. Fredonia radio system, yep. WCVF and WDVO. You got some nifty hardware there, boys. What's that? This is the bowling trophy that we won uh, against the leader and the TV station. Which means we're the best medium on campus. Join us because we're winners. Are you saying that you're better than the TV station? Uh, let's just have the bowling trophy. Get out. <laughs> All right, everybody, and we are back. So now it is time to do a new segment that we have on the show called The Dating Game. So what's going to happen here is Alex is going to ask our contestants questions from the club hockey team before their interview. And if you guys have any questions that you maybe want to hear Alex ask them, tweet them at us and we will have Alex ask. So Justin, you want to do any more explanation towards this? Justin's going to be our host for the evening. So Yeah, you know, it's uh, just a dating game. Uh, you've seen it. You know what it is. Uh, what's going to happen here is uh, the lovely Alex is going to try to, uh, you know, uh, decipher which one of these uh, hockey players uh, she'd like to take home. So, you know, uh, she likes hockey. Uh, they're probably Canadian, so hopefully it uh, turns into a good time. So, Alex, uh, let's get going. All right, let's do it. Okay, I'm not Canadian. So the first question I have for you lovely fellas, I think, are do you wine and dine or do you go straight for the kill? Uh, well, first of all, if I was going to take you on a date, I would take you straight to a real nice restaurant. Probably something like Cranston Marche. Whoa. I wouldn't take you to Willie C because I'm not a scumbag. We would go straight to Cranston. I would pay for it Whoa. on my meal plan. All right. I'm calling you number one. Okay, yeah, number that's one. contestant number one. We'll I am, go down the line. I am number one. Thank you. You're not going to beat that. Do you have a... No, I have nothing. Here you go. Okay. Um, you out, man. We'd go to uh, Ruby Tuesdays. Whoa! Oh. That's Game high. Odd. That's Game high odd. class. Game that's odd. high class. Like that. All right. Like so the second question. Go for the kill. Okay. Go for the, well, all right. Let's <laughs> move. Get the game. <laughs> You're back in. All right. All right. Welcome to the show. Okay. Oh, yep. I don't know. I can't see. So. Oh, she can't get scores. She can't see Star Wars. Yes. Um. <laughs> so what makes you cry? I really like sensitive men. Do I have to go first? What makes you cry? Yeah. Contestant number one. Nothing, because I'm a man. <laughs> okay. I'm not sensitive. I'm going to tell you right now. Let's okay. get that out of the way. All right. Contestant number two. Ladder 49. <laughs> oh, classic. Wow. classic. All right. Just All saying, right. I watched it once and cried. All well, right. I'm not saying that I don't cry because I'm a man. I just never cried. It's just All right. something that, I don't know. That's what I said. No, but not because I'm a man. I mean, I am a man. I am a man. <laughs> Okay. I just never cried. Okay. Know. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. That's a valid question. So uh, let's get to the real stuff now. So um, oh, do you like being stuff. dominated during sex? Like being my bitch? I'm a virgin. <laughs> okay. Uh, I wouldn't want to get dominated until I got married, and then I would love to be dominated. So. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Uh, do you like being spanked? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's the number three. Still a virgin. Still a virgin. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. Still wait for my chance. <laughs> All right. So we have another question here. Shoot. Uh, have you ever puked on anyone during sex while you were hydrated? Not yet. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> have you ever? <laughs> Have you ever puked on someone during sex? No, not yet. Not, not yet. that I remember. Is it no, something but I'd love to. Okay. <laughs> Aspiring to puke on someone. Okay. Uh, what's your body count? Who? 574? Uh, Four? Good. I've never killed anyone. So. Okay. <laughs> legally, legally not allowed to answer this question. Okay. Not allowed Fair to. Enough. Okay. Okay. Um, what is your favorite sex position? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can take this one. It's contested too. Sex. My, my favorite one? <laughs> yes, your favorite. All of them, because I love sex. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is uh, the big question. You should ask them, make sure we know who's talking. I know. Contestant number one, contestant number one was just talking. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Got you on that one. Um, this is a big one here. What is, all right, really focus. What is the most kinky thing you can think to do with 
a microphone, extension cords, and a plastic spoon. Go ahead. Go ahead. Think about this what? one. Think about time. this okay. one. Take your time. Um, how big is the extension cord? It's, it's long. You can. It's what? malleable. Industrial yeah. size? Yeah, it's real stuff. Wow. Okay. Um, probably won't use any of it. Just straight love making. Okay. Is that three? Yeah. All right. You could say that. Yeah. We have some some questions when you're ready, Alex. Okay. When you get when you're all set there. Contestant number two. I really don't know. Dude, can't, I, can't come, I can't come to a conclusion. Come on. Let's dig in here. Definitely. Sorry, what were the items again? Can I hear the items again? Of course. A microphone, extension cords, and a plastic spoon. I'm pretty sure we have all those items right here in the studio, so we'd probably just get it on right here right now. We do. We do. <laughs> all right. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Was that contestant number one? Two. Obviously. Okay. <laughs> All right, what are some questions? Yeah, we have some flooding in right now. Uh, Kylie Gagne says, Jackson, how good is your Tinder game? Uh, I'm currently at like, where's my camera? Do I have a camera? <laughs> uh, I have around two, uh, 210 matches. Um, no hookups. Yeah. Not a big deal. Um, here's one. Uh, Dan LaRay <coughs> says, Ty, how did you do on your test today? 78. Solid number. I studied my ass. Um, contestant number one, we have a two-part question for you, actually. Okay. First, Dan LeRae says, Crowley, who is Kelsey? And then part two is Kelsey, actually, tweeted saying, Crowley, do you like to go running? Boom. <laughs> that is funny. I'll answer the first one. I don't know who Kelsey is. <laughs> I'll answer wow. the second question. Yes, I usually run about a 5K a day after I bench 250 sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Kyle Madonia says, I'm, I, I don't know, uh, for contestant number three, I think you can answer this. Contestant oh, yeah. number three Shoot. hangs to the kneecaps. How will you deal with that? That's a question for her. No, it's just <laughs> for me. Um, I don't know. Tie it off or something. <laughs> Using what? Why do you think we hockey have the extension tape. cord? Is that what the extension cord would be used for? Zip ties. Hockey Zip tape. ties. We play hockey, buddy. <coughs> We're not Canadian. Okay. We're not Canadian. Uh, Brendan McCabe says, how many goals has contestant number three scored in his career? Oh, how many? Yeah. We're talking practice, too? <laughs> <laughs> no practice. No practice. Just game. No practice? Um, I almost scored once. <laughs> so Zero. Uh, more or less, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give or take. Uh, Ill Sill 16 Adam Silverman says, contestant number three, for a sushi date, would you go for spicy crab roll or for shrimp roll? Um, I go with spicy shrimp. Wait, what? Did you just combine the two? No, I mean, it's spicy. It's spicy shrimp or spicy crab. Learn yeah. Your sh learn your shit, dude. All right, like a little spicy. <laughs> Easy there, friend. Yeah. Uh, oh, Brendan McCabe says practice counts. Go. For goals. Oh. Uh, I think six and one uh, game winner. Really? Yeah, That's shootout. Solid. Uh, Dan Lorraine says, Crowley, what are your best sellies? I don't know what that word means, so okay. I'm going to have to describe the question. We'll move Thank on. You. Uh, oh, wow, that I cannot read. Um, just, do it. just do it, man. Or can you? Can you? I can read it, actually. Yeah. Uh, Brian McFarland says, contestant number one, would you let me shave a landing strip on you down low? When do I get my to fly my plane on it? <laughs> that's a good question. That's a really good question, Brian. <laughs> Very good question. This is to Brian McParlin directly. Can I look in the camera? Which one? This one? Yeah, you're there. Yes. Does it fit? Yes, you can <laughs> fly your plane onto my landing strip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kyle Madonia says, contestant number one, do you think that your Blue Devil's tad on the ass is going to turn her on? Ooh. <laughs> And follow up for but, Crowley. Wait, Kylie Gagne says, Crowley, why do you only hit triples? These are all to me. <laughs> yeah. All right, the tattoo was a mistake, but the ladies actually turned out to love it. Second, what was one about triples? Repeat the question. Repeat the question, please. Uh, 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 Contestant number one, why do you only hit triples? I can't answer that. So. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I only hit triples because... No, I can't. Sorry. It's not his fault. Oh, boy. I don't want to get 
females pregnant, so I only have uh, Corey Clancy <laughs> asked, to all the contestants, quickly, how many slap shots do you average a game? 12. 7. 17. Okay. <laughs> I think that's pretty fair. So, do we have a winner, Alex? I am going to have to go with contestant number one. Woo! Oh, Woo! Turn around and meet your match. Oh, oh man! He has herpes. <laughs> All right, wow. Well, I think we can finally uh, introduce you guys now. Contestant number one was Matt Crowley, number two, Tyler McTighe, number three, the one and only Sean Jackson. I guess. Uh, you two, Hi. two and three, what are your thoughts on not winning? It's bullshit. You suck. It's what? It's bullshit. Uh, well, Crowley usually gets all girls and scores the goals, so I'm used to it, so. That's how she goes. Hey, I think you're great, though. No, Crowley. I'm a winner, that's it. Are, though. That's all it is. I'm just a winner. Later. It was a tad of that. I'll take that. For sure. Yeah. All right, so why don't we turn things over now to Justin to interview you guys. Hey guys. Oh, I wasn't cool. Hey. How you guys doing? I'm all right. How are you? Good. 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 Why are you? Oh, yeah. Interview time, right? Yeah. Um, well, let's see. How long have you guys been playing hockey? Too Sorry, late. me? Too How long? Late. Any of you. You know, it's oh, I just started last year, but uh, huh? I really picked up the game pretty fast. Oh. <laughs> cool. Since I was four. Since yeah, four? same with me. Same That's with cool. Me. That's cool. They have young youth leagues up in Canada, I'm sure. Um, how do you get on the club hockey team? It's a tough, it's tough. Uh, after the summer camp, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, if you just show up and you kind of know what you're doing, you can play hockey. So, no. If you pass the summer camp. I think 500 people showed up to the first tryout. Um, there was seven days of skating. After, uh, <laughs> a lot of hearts were broken. For, yeah, for, a lot first cuts were tough for a lot of guys. I remember that was a real hard day, but, uh. We ended up making the uh, final roster, 25 skaters. Well, Crowley's players. mom paid him on the way. Oh, really? Huh? Yeah. Don't ask me. I don't know. You got to pay to play, right? Exactly. That's Absolutely. how Brandon got on this TV show. Exactly. <laughs> Take it back. No. Okay. Um, <laughs> who do you guys play? We know it's, there's a club hockey team, but do you guys just, you know, play off and, you know, jerk around together, or do you guys uh, play other teams? Um, a lot of inter-squad scrimmaging. Okay. Uh, and then probably – we play a lot of D1 schools, like uh, Harvard. NCAA, yeah. Harvard. 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 Yale's a big com Mostly Ivy League, League schools. Yeah. yeah. Nerds aren't good, so. Yeah. Now, there were rumors going around. I don't know how true it is, but you guys actually beat the Union team. Is, is that correct? 100%, yeah. You don't like to brag. It was yeah. just a scrimmage, but it didn't count, but yeah, we beat them. Right, right. A win's a win. Yeah. You beat the best team in the country. Yeah, yeah we did. Twice. Right. <laughs> Twice? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Also, on another side note, um, there's rumors that Dominic Kashuk was your guys' starting goalie at the beginning of the year, but blew his knee out? No. No? No. Um, I'm not at liberty to discuss that. Okay. Can't believe everything you read. Right. No. Well, I shouldn't have. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. It was off Twitter. Oh. Twi yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Delete it. All right. Well, do you guys have to be Canadian to play? Yeah. Sort of. Sort of. Yeah. 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 Sort of, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's yeah. Good, good to play hockey sometimes. Yeah. Well, Irish, but hey, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I don't have the Canadian accent pinpoint yet. Next question. Did you yeah. guys, were you guys born here or did your parents bring you over? And was it legal? <laughs> I was actually born on the boat. On the boat. That's, yeah. that's a the true Canadian. American story. I was uh, actually born in uh, Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. <laughs> my, uh, my parents uh, decided to drive down to uh, Buffalo, trying to uh, start a new life for ourselves. Uh, the, the farm actually got sold in Moose Jaw, so we decided to uh, ship up to Buffalo, see what's going on down here, you know? I like that. Yeah. That's good for you. Good for your family. Toronto Raptors fan? You got, you got to still live there, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah? In the offseason. In the offseason. What do you think about Vince Carter? Uh, real good player. All right. Could the, <laughs> could the club team beat the actual school team? Uh, in what? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good if the club team played the school team in a game of, <laughs> let's say, <laughs> sex twister, like I talked about in steps, who would win? Um, oh, we would. Yeah, we're winners. You're winners. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Our season went longer than theirs. Sorry, D3 guys. Oh. Facts. Wow. Wow. Um, Brandon, is there fired. anything on Twitter? While yeah, we actually are just getting contestion, or, uh, questions just thrown in for <laughs> our contestants here. Uh, I just made a new word, yeah. Uh, contestant number one. Well, Matt Crowley, do you know Bugs Bunny from the Toon Squad? 
He actually is a very close personal friend of mine. Uh, he let me borrow this jersey today. But, well, I mean, I haven't seen him in like a year. Oh, okay. But this is his. He let me borrow it. Like oh, nice. Year. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tyler Shaw asks, Hockey Boys, what are your thoughts on the grinder on the team named Tom Gavin? Who? Tom Gavin. I don't think he plays. I don't think he plays, bro. How do you spell? I don't, we don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, Sarah Dix uh, said, Sean Jackson, what's in the water bottle? Uh, it's PCP. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. Li- liquid PCP is big in Canada. Really? Can we say that? Um, Can we say Corey that? Clancy said, Jackson, what kind of shampoo do you use on your chest hair? Um, I like to mix uh, Old Spice and uh, Suave. For men or women? For women. Okay, of course. Yeah. Blush. And uh, Il Sil says, is it true that Sean Jackson is from Letterkenny, Ontario? I'm actually from Alberta. Alberta. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Uh, Justin, take her away, man. Now, real question. Club team plays a school team in hockey. Who wins? Game of hockey. Game of, uh, are we on international ice or regulation size? <laughs> like Olympic. I don't know. You guys are playing in the middle of Lake Erie, so it's a neutral site. Wow. Gordon Bombay is the referee. Who wins? You know, nine times out of ten, they probably win. <laughs> but not tonight. Why aren't you guys on the school team? I mean, you guys just made up your own team, um, didn't you? No. I made the team, and I was just like, I don't like what they're about. That's a lot of school pride. We like to fight, and the, uh, the D3 team discourages that. That's kind of our game. I, yeah, I don't want to be on it either. Have you guys ever done the flying V? Does that actually work? Every time. Automatic goal. <laughs> really? Yeah, they know. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you have a little short, possibly not white kid on your team that shoots knuckle pucks? We have two of them, actually. <laughs> two of them? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's half the Fredonia. They're not on the roster, mm-hmm. but they we actually We were playing street hockey one day, and they, uh, they came up and kind of showed us how to play in the street. In oh. Dunkirk. Yeah, we decided to sign them oh, up. And, Jesus. You know, the knuckle puck. It's pretty effective. Yes, I imagine so. Hey, Mom. Yes, say hello to Mom. Twitter? You got yeah, we, uh, Brian McParlin actually tweeted... Um, I think we should maybe do this. Could we get a twerk off from all three contestants? Uh, no. No. Tyler? Oh. No? Okay. Car- carry on. Sorry. All right. Uh, who on your team's the best fighter? Uh, Brendan Hart. <laughs> Hart out. Without a question. Yeah. He, he's number 19. Uh, ladies. I'm sorry, he is taken. Does he only hit triples, too? Really ugly, though. He hits home runs. He's, oh, he's home a home run hitter. Good for yeah. him. <laughs> Makes one of you. Oh, shit. I love how, you. How often do you guys watch Trailer Park Boys? Yes. The show. Once a day. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, every once in a while, I guess. I don't, know. don't watch TV. You guys are the worst Canadians ever. Once is that on the radio? Canadian. You're not Canadian? No. Anyways, <laughs> do moose scare you? <laughs> no, nah, I'll fight a moose. Go fight a moose. I'll fight a moose. <laughs> yes. They scare me. Why? Was it from growing up in Canada? Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, we got to the bottom of that. Do you guys call Canadian geese Canadian geese, or do you just call them geese? Canucks. Um, I never call them anything. That's actually uh, a great question. Do they have a phone or something? Uh, <laughs> Have you ever been pooped on by a Canadian goose? Let's get uh, it out there. Uh, Come on, we need the answers. I'm, I'm freezing up. Uh, okay, well, that's terrible. That's why you came to America. You guys got to love Tim Hortons, right? Yes. I mean, yes, thank you. Here we go. Finally, something Canadian. Medium double-double really gets the boys going in the morning. Is that a coffee? I think so, yes. All right, so... Who wins in a fight, Patrick Waugh or Mike Ditka? Hmm. Both in their prime. Yikes. Uh, You got to respect Waugh. I mean, legend, great hockey goalie. But then you got Ditka with that mustache. (laughs) It's a valid point, probably. There's some hockey players that have good Hmm. mustaches, though. uh, But Twitter, I think Twitter's popping off. Yeah, uh, Brian McParlin again. Contestants, if you could make love with one coach, who would it be and why? Oh, be Haddock all day. Uh, Coach Haddock. Tyler? <laughs> we coach ourselves. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
this is a, wow, Hunter uh, Leinhart, I think it is. Leinhart? L-I-E-N-H-A-R-T. I don't know. Uh, she tweeted, Crowley, hurry back to Grissom. I'm waiting in my room. Door unlocked. Wow. Uh-oh. Grissom's a bunch of guys. Can we get a cat fight? I'll what hey, rooms. yo. Uh, Grissom's a bunch of guys. 210 C. See you after the show. Oh, um, Jesus. <laughs> all contestants, what do you guys do in times of adversity? Like when you run out of tissues and lotion. <laughs> uh, Go to Walmart. What do you think it's for? <laughs> Go to Walmart. I'll figure it out. I don't know. We yeah, should what ask do you each do, other. Sean? Well, say like if it happens tonight. Just on the ice, I battle adversity every game. <laughs> I usually would just call a chick at that point. But yeah, I'll probably just go to Walmart. <laughs> or, or hockey socks probably work. Hockey socks good. are also effective, yes. A lot of cotton absorbing. Yeah. Order yes. resistant you know, the best. You play, you yeah, play I don't hockey? even play hockey. I'm not I'm American too, but I know, you know. It's crazy. You run out of tissues and jergens, you gotta do something, and you know, you you go and you grab your hockey sock and you know you do your business in your hockey sock and just make sure your mom washes it. Sounds like you know what you're doing. I do know what I'm doing. Anytime you want a free lesson, my son. Jurgens is a great brand. You want to try out? Yes. I don't know how to ice skate. Is that an issue? No. Nah. Okay. Your club hockey team are in a hotel. It's a Hilton Garden Inn. That oh, doesn't matter to the store, but it's a Hilton. Okay. It catches on fire. Who jumps from your window to see if they'll survive? Hardo. Definitely Brendan Hart. Again, that guy is just crazy. That's a fighter who hits home runs, yes, correct? Dude, Hart is just uh, I would savage. jump because I'm a leader. Like, oh, okay, you're probably fine, too. Hard. You're on a flooded ferry. It's going down. You either drown or you swim in the water and possibly get attacked by geese. What do you do? Oh, I just fetal position. You're walking in the park, <laughs> and a moose like comes out of nowhere. Do. What do you do? Kill it. Wow. Drop the gloves. I charge at <laughs> You guys probably are not on the school team because you don't have good flows. So oh, they don't have great wow. flows. Uh, but I like them. So let's go back over to Brendan. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Go that's ridiculous. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna go cool. to a quick commercial break, everybody. We will be right. Back. Unbelievable. He just said that on TV. You didn't give up on sex. Don't give up on birth control either. There are more methods than you think. Find yours at bedsider.org. The 9-11 memorial is for my 343 brothers who didn't make it. And for my brother. This shows the world that we can rebuild. And that we are strong. It's for the heroes like my dad. This year, the National September 11th Memorial opens in New York City. Join us to honor, remember, and reunite. You can help right now by texting the word HOPE to 80088 to give $10. Hello there, gentlemen. Can you please share your names? Uh, my name's Tommy. And my name's Alex. What are you guys here for? We're here from the radio system. Sedonia Radio System, WCVF and WDVO. You got some nifty hardware there, boys. What's that? This is the bowling trophy that we won uh, against the leader and the TV station. Which means we're the best medium on campus. Join us because we're winners. Are you saying that you're better than the TV station? Uh, let's just have the bowling trophy. Get out. Looking for these? You drive buzzed. It could be one very expensive ride. First, you got to make bail. Then pay me to get your car back. Your insurance premiums will go through the roof. And my legal fees just keep adding up. All told, it could end up costing you $10,000. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. 
All right, everybody, welcome back to Fred Before Bed. I hope you guys enjoyed that last segment as much as we did. Now, though, we are lucky enough to have a couple of awesome dudes here from one of my favorite local bands, a couple of my personal buds, Dollar Diplomacy. So, gentlemen, take her away. All right, here's up. Just to let you guys know, we're not the full group. Uh, we're missing two of our players. We're missing our lead singer, uh, Brad Martinowitz, and our drummer, John Harrington, tonight. But uh, I guess I can sing a couple Show songs. Yeah. <laughs> great. Thank you. stuff and drank all my wine Made up my mind gonna make a new start Rolling California with the naked in my heart Someone told me there's a girl out there loving her eyes and flowers in her Jill and the sun began. 
again to wait. Watch out. Seems that the wrath of the gods got a punch on the nose and it's time to flow. I think I might be sinking. Throw me a line if I reach you in time. Meet you were there when the path runs straight. Myself, it's not as hard, hard, hard as it seems. Check it out, Tyler. Let's go. I, I gotta say, I have played a show with these guys before, and I mean that was amazing there. But the four-piece lineup is also <laughs> equally just awesome. You guys killed Thank it. Thank you very much. Thank you so Thank much, you guys, for doing that. You guys were fantastic. Great. We'll definitely we'll have to get you on with all the boys next time. Hopefully, the crew. yeah, uh, next time, definitely. It was great. Do you guys have any uh, shows coming up? You guys want to talk about quick? Uh, we are playing the Move the Pole pa- Move the Pole Festival at the Forum Sunday, May the Fourth. Yeah, May Fourth. It's the yeah. Sunday of Fred Fest, so if you're not hungover and want to drive up to Buffalo, <laughs> come check us over. out. Or if you are hungover. Or you can so check out his band, Kill the Clock. You guys are playing, playing at the Trout that day, We right? are playing at the Trout that day. Yes, we are. Thank you for the nice little plug there. No problem. You know I'm a big supporter of oh, you guys. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> no, you guys, that was so great, though. Thank you Thank again you. so much for coming on. Uh, Lots to look forward to next week. We have so much coming up. Uh, next week is our season finale, unfortunately. Oh, man. Uh, I know, right? <laughs> but it's okay. We will be back in the fall, bigger and better than ever. We already are in the planning stages of how we're going to handle things in the fall. But first, we have next week. We, uh, we might have two guests next week. We might have uh, the cheerleaders on and maybe the soccer team. So we're going to see. It's going to be interesting. And my band, Kill the Clock, will be performing next week. Woo! 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 Yay! Yeah. So tune in. We love Joe. Yeah, I don't know who they are. I'm not really sure they're great. They're not. <laughs> Uh, but just so you guys know, we had people tweeting. Somebody was like, hell yes, Led Zeppelin cover, hashtag amazing. Yeah, you're so. not doing anything tomorrow Sweet. night. Uh, watch uh, Sports Yeah, Hour. tomorrow night you can check out Scott and I. Lots and to talk about. Guys about too. Yeah. And NBA, Lauren on Sports NBA Hour. Playoff, NHL playoffs. So, so much. much. Christian, our cameraman, he'll be there. It's going to be a great time, so there's a nice little plug. Also, we have open, we have open mic night this week on Friday. 6 o'clock, open mic night. Plenty of great programming to come on. So much to look forward to. We've got some cool skits we have planned for next week as well. So get ready, because if you guys like to catch senior, these next ones are going to pretty much take things yes. to a whole new level. Yep. So any last thoughts, everybody? 
I don't do anything, but if you want to say hi, okay. I'm around. Well, in any event, we'd like to thank you guys all very much for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week, and have a lovely hey, evening. Don't do anything I wouldn't do.